This is a planetary gearbox and its main purpose is to reduce a high speed input into a low speed output that has a higher torque. This particular model has a gear ratio of 9 to 1, meaning that the input is 9 times faster than the output speed. In this video I will show you exactly how this system works. So it all starts with the source of power in the back here. The source of power will be my hand that is moving this crank around in a circular motion. That handle is connected to a shaft here, and we'll call that shaft A. Shaft A is connected to sun gear A, and sun gear A meshes with the first set of planetary gears. And these planetary gears will spin around in a slower speed than the sun gear in the middle would. And that speed of the planetary gears will be carried on over to a sun gear B, which is connected together by a planet carrier A. And you could clearly see the speed difference between the two sun gears. Sun gear B will then mesh with yet another set of planetary gears to produce an even slower speed output. And that final speed will be transferred to an output shaft by another planet carrier, planet carrier B. But how can we find the gear ratio in the whole system? We'll start off by finding the ratio between sun gear A and the first set of planetary gears using this formula right here. It states that the gear ratio between the two is the number of teeth on the sun gear plus the number of teeth on the ring gear divided by the number of teeth on the sun gear. The sun gear has a total of 20 teeth and the ring gear has a total of 40 teeth. And plugging those numbers in, we should get a ratio of three to one. And that means that the planetary gears are rotating three times slower than the sun gear is. And since we know that the gear ratio between sun gear B and the second set of planetary gears would be the same, the speed would then be reduced by a factor of three again. So with that now in mind, we know that the final output shaft is three times slower than sun gear A. And since sun gear A is three times slower than the input, we can conclude that the final output shaft is nine times slower than the input. And that gives our planetary gearbox a ratio of nine to one. And the final thing that I'd like to mention is that a planetary gearbox is not limited to three planetary gears only. And you might be asking why we would add more planetary gears. And that's because more planetary gears would allow the system to handle more of a load capacity. And the reason to that is that there would be more of a force distribution in the whole system since there's more gears. So a system with six planetary gears would be more likely to handle a higher load than a system with one planetary gear only, since that one planetary gear would be taking the whole force that the system's facing. And that's all I got to cover for the planetary gearbox. I hope you learned something new, and if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name's Aaron, and I'm an engineering student who likes talking about mechanisms here on YouTube. Feel free to leave any comments or suggestions down below, and I will see you in the next video.